I bought a used Ender 3 V2 on Comgro and turned it into a laser engraver. If you go to Comgro's website, comgro.com, go under the used Creality printers from Amazon, which there's no return, no refund. But I felt pretty confident about it because most of the problems, most of the reasons these are returned is people had clogs in the nozzles and they had no idea how to fix it, any of that. And since I'm not using any of that, all I really needed is the X and Y to move for me. And the Z, I had to set the Z. So this was $129, which is not bad for a Ender 3 V2. Then I bought the 40 watt laser engraver kit from Saval at Saval3D.com. You'll just follow the directions for hooking it up. This one was just a bracket, clamp style bracket that went on the print head. And the wiring goes down into the bottom and plugs into the fan port on the motherboard. Pretty straightforward, just follow the directions. You will also need to download the firmware from Saval's website to upgrade the firmware on this 3D printer so you can use it as a laser. Once you're on their site, you're just gonna scroll down. Keep scrolling, parts list. And right here is the firmware for the Ender 3 V2. Don't waste your time downloading the Creality Workshop. I wasted two weeks of my life trying to figure out how to make that work. And if you want to do anything other than wood, it's not going to do it. I ordered some uh, fake leather patches and... It, I, you couldn't adjust it. It kept burning straight through them every time. So uh, don't even waste your time with that. Go straight and get you a copy of Lightburn. Once you're there, just download a copy of the trial. You get to use it full functional for 30 days. Still working on tuning it in, but we almost have it. Just a little bit more lineup option and we'll be good to go. These patches used to burn straight through using the Creality Workshop, and with Lightburn, I can set it up just right. Have a good one, everybody.